something just doesn't feel right and I've been just so frustrated trying to figure it out. Anyway, it's lunchtime, I'm hungry, time for food. Didn't obviously cook much today. Look, something is off today. Maybe something is out of sync. No, I don't mean that sync. I mean audio sync. Do I, do, does it look okay? <laughs> it took me three hours to figure this problem out yesterday. Three long hours, so I'm just gonna spare anybody who's interested in video editing another three hours of torment. We go up to window and we go up to our uh, pluralize, we open it up and we click synchronize here. It's 99% of the time it works. So yesterday it didn't work, what happened? I synchronized footage that was 100 frames a second, 50 frames a second and 25 frames a second. Premiere Pro couldn't do it and Pluralize couldn't do it. However, there is a quick turnaround. So basically, you go into Pluralize on your computer rather than opening it up through Premiere Pro. As you can see, add your media, find your folder and drop it in. You click synchronize and then you export your timeline as an XML and open that XML file in Premiere Pro and all your files should be synced up. It's that simple, it's that easy. The problem was for me that for some reason, Premiere Pro and Pluralize just weren't working yesterday in a sense of dealing with 100 frames a second and 50 frames a second, so it got a little bit confused. Apart from that guys, if you don't have Pluralize for video editing, you have to get Pluralize. It is without doubt a big game changer for video editors, especially wedding videographers or, or anybody that's doing, say, multi-camera or multi-audio tracks. Cheers, guys. Nice.